what it means to be a member. I, suppose I talk for everyone that was forever a member. It's an order. Most organisations and most humanitarian organisations are organisations. But when we talk about the Order of Malta, it is an order uh, with, with, when it was set up with, with huge religious background to it. So we, it is an order and it is a way, it's non-denominational, the Eminence Corps is non-denominational. Our are the people we treat and help. We don't ask what your creed is, what your nationality is, what anything about you is. If we can assist, we assist. Uh, it's about being humanitarian, it's about being charitable, it's about looking after our lords the sick and our lords the poor. We do that through a number of ways. We have an international camp for people with special needs that moves around the world to different locations. We had one in Ireland only two or three years ago in Clangos, which was a huge success. So people find in the Ambulance Corps a way to express themselves in giving of service to the people in their communities. We're here in the fabulous Hunt Museum in Limerick City, uh, which holds numerous artefacts and memorabilia, including the Antrim Cross from the 19th century. And we're here with the Order of Malta, Knights of Malta, 70th anniversary of its Ambulance Corps in Limerick. And the Knights go back to the, the Knights Hospitaller, the Knights of the Hospital back to the first papal bull that was issued to the hospital people in Jerusalem, uh, 1113. The, the Knights came to Ireland, brought to Ireland by Strongbow in 1174 and had their main, their main uh, place in Kilmainham and in the Midwest area, they came to Hospital Aeney, County Limerick. I'm standing in the prologue room um, in the Hunt Museum where we have a wonderful exhibition that opened last Friday night. Uh, the Order of Malta is celebrating 70 years in Limerick City and we in the Hunt Museum are delighted to have worked collaboratively with Tom and Tony in, in, um, in, in curating this wonderful exhibition. I have to say Tom did most of it, Tom Hanley did all of the work, uh, but the museum feels it's really important uh, to work collaboratively with the community in Limerick as well as doing our other exhibitions and showcasing the Hunt collection in the city. The exhibition is on display here in the museum as I say it opened last Friday and it continues until the 30th of June and it celebrates uh, all the wonderful work uh, that the Ambulance Corps have done over the years. The title of the exhibition is Nursing and Knighthood in Limerick City. My brother Jim had been a member and a number of the, the, the boys in the locality were cadets of, of the Ambulance Corps. So it was one of the things to do. And uh, I've stayed in it ever since. Joined the, the senior units then at 16 years of age. And uh, I'm still in it. Uh, and the unit today is the officer in charge is Brian Crosby. And he has his committee around him and his team around, a team of volunteers, which are 40 adults and 20 cadets. And they're more than active every week they have two ambulances and a four-wheel drive ambulance and they're very active at sporting and civic events and where large crowds gather because of, of regulation now for health and safety and the gathering of large crowds you have to have a medical present. As the year progresses we've had a number of events to mark our 70th and the public hugely supported it and a lot of past members have come to many of our events. We will be exhibiting again in John's House in Davis Street for Heritage Week and that will be news of that will be on the newspapers and we will also be doing the history of hospitals and medicine in Limerick for Culture Night in the same building and we will also then in September be, be, be celebrating and commemorating uh, the Great Siege of Malta which is, which is a worldwide celebration every year that the, the, the Knights Hospitals defended the island of Malta against the tech and it's, it's looked upon particularly in the history of, of military history across the Mediterranean as being the pivotal of, of the, to stop the might of, of the Ottoman Turk at that time. Uh, so or we'll bring our, our year to an end then. We will have a number of public demos. We'll have one in the Parkway Hotel. We'll have what we term Adam's Gift, which is a CPR uh, uh, qualification people to learn basic CPR as a result of a, a younger member uh, becoming a, a victim to a heart condition. 
and then in the, I will finish up our year on the 25th of November with a Mass for all deceased members.